November the 14th, 2011, and Hidden Blade, Skyward Swords, Mjolnir Battle Armor, Barbasol, and giving Jeremy his propers are why I love Mondays. It's another crazy week for new releases, so let's not waste any time we could all be spending playing games. Games like Assassin's Creed Revelations, which is out this week, and which aims to wrap up the stories of protagonists Ezio Adiatori and Altair before moving the greater Assassin's Creed story forward. It's the third game in the series in as many years, though. And while last year's Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was a real pleasant surprise, can Ubisoft keep its momentum going? Find out by watching our quick look and reading our full review on the site. Also out this week is Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, a high-res remake of Bungie's original Xbox hit. Now, in 2001, Halo was a revelation, the start of one of the biggest franchises in video games today. And though it wasn't the first, it's basically responsible for proving that first-person shooters could work with console controls. No doubt it's an important game, but how does it handle 10 years later? We take a look. We'll also hold on to our butts with Telltale's Jurassic Park The Game, cannonball our way across the country in Need for Speed The Run, jump to the front of the line with Connect Disneyland Adventures, dabble in a little two-dimensional French whimsy with Rayman Origins, return to Hogwarts for the most elegantly titled Lego Harry Potter, years five through seven, and relive one of the most awkward moments of E3 2011 with medieval moves, Deadman's Quest. All that plus the Giant Bomb cast and Thursday Night Throwdown in the week ahead on GiantBomb.com. Thanks for watching I Love Mondays and have a great week.